everybody. So we are on our way to uh, urgent care. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm having some lower GI symptoms. We won't go into graphic detail more than that. I don't think it's anything serious, but my anxiety is off the chart this morning. I couldn't sleep last night. So we're gonna go get it ch checked out. Welcome to January 9th. 1 17 p.m. Happy Sunday. Um, by the way, besides all of that, it is my sister's birthday and happy birthday, Elizabeth. I love you so much. Anyway, we're gonna go hurry up, get on the wait list, and wait in the car. Might be an hour or more. I'll be back. It's Monday morning, January 10th, 8.46 a.m. Get excited, I've already looked. So I am having some health challenges. I said that already. Uh, lower digestive tract. I ended up not going to urgent care this morning after I thought about it. I thought better of it. They weren't super friendly over there to begin with and they wouldn't let me just be on the waiting list to get in. Plus I thought I'd rather just go see my regular doctor's office anyway. So although my doctor's retired, I am seeing a new one this morning at the same office at 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go work off some stress by going for a walk. It might rain a little bit, but that's okay. And yeah. Pretty full. All right, I'll Here's be back. A bit of interesting observation about myself with you all. I used to be that person that dealt with everything in life, good, bad, happy, sad, with food, uh, especially when things went wrong or sideways. First thing I did was go eat all the junk food in the house. Only yesterday, I discovered that I was so stressed because I'm having some possible health issues. And I wasn't hungry. That's a first for me. Does that mean I really changed my mindset towards food? And I eat to live rather than live to eat? God, I hope so. Cross your fingers. I mean, you know. Anyway, the walk is doing me a lot of good. Art and reading yesterday also did a lot of good. So... Uh, and this is my sixth day without my knee brace. So that's also good, maybe? All right, that's it for the minute. I'm going to keep on my walk. I have a time schedule to keep so I can get to the doctors and I'll be put back. this Etsy sellers store info down below. I ordered these on New Year's Eve. They are some um, mini cross stitch kits that I can't really get over here, not easily anyway. She had some in her store, so I ordered them New Year's Eve. It is right now the 10th, Monday the 10th. That's quick. They came all the way from the United Kingdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, we're very quick with the postage, and thank you to all the mail carriers for getting them to be quick. Um, so this is uh, medical TMI. Um, you know, if something goes wrong with your medical health, go to the doctor. Don't ignore it and think it's gonna go away. So I had a couple incidents recently where I found blood in my underwear. So I was pretty sure I probably knew what it was and that it wasn't really bad, but it stressed me out to the max, drove me over the edge. I stopped, pretty much stopped eating yesterday until I could get to the doctor today. He's 98% confident, internal hemorrhoids, but they do need, do need to be treated and they do need to be taken care of. So I'm waiting for some lab work to come back and a call from the clinic that will do that. I might go ahead and see if they'll do a colonoscopy at the same time because I am due for one of those. And I have had polyps in the past, so we might as well just bite the bullet and get it all done. Um, a lot of things are prevented it, preventable if you catch them early. And why not just do that? So. Go see her. Don't be afraid to call your doctor. Get the medical attention you need. And if you don't have insurance, 
um, see what you can do in the way of a free clinic or something like that. I'm sure there's a way where there's a will, there's a way to preserve this while you can for as long as possible because you know what's life if you aren't healthy and able to get around and do things and see the world and make art and enjoy life her etsy call, shop is called enchanted needle and again i will put the link down below um my favorite mini cross stitch kits are by a company called mouse loft again i've mentioned it before they're a united kingdom um company um and i love their tiddlers they're very small little cross stitch kits they take about maybe an hour if I take my time. They probably, I can do them less in time than that if I wanted. They're counted cross stitch. They are 14 count Ada, I think. Of course, I don't have my glasses on, but I think so. Um, which means they're a little bit small and I definitely need my reading glasses on, but they have some cute designs. So I got this one and then I got this one. And then I got these other ones, which are a different, it's still mouse loft. These are called stitchlets. They're a little bit different. Are they the same finished size? Let's see, shown actual size. They're about the same size. I don't know why they're different. The designs are a little different, I guess. Uh, but I got this one and this one and this one. She has a lot of their designs on her shop. I will... Um, Link it down below. If you want to do a screenshot, there's her info right there. Don't focus on my face. Okay, um, Enchanted Needle. So she did a great job. She got them in the mail really quickly. Her postage wasn't too bad and yeah, very, very, very pleased. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. It is just after 10 a.m. Tuesday, January 11th. So this morning I got two of the three test results back and they are normal and negative, which is good. Um, the other one may take a few days, but um, anyway, I'm waiting for a call from the GI clinic to schedule my procedure. Um, I'm hoping we can do it ASAP because one, I'd like to get it over with. Two, I have lots of like things scheduled. I'd like to not have to cancel a whole bunch of stuff. And, you know, three, I mean, I'd like to not have to go check things every five minutes if you get my drift. Um, anyway, I am up here in the art room and just kind of trying to decide what project I'm going to work on. I might add a little bit more to the painting I posted on the socials last night, which is this one. I do think I need to bring some of this blue down and maybe a little bit of these warmer colors up to make it look cohesive. At the very least, the blue needs to come down, I think. I don't know, we'll see. It is dry. So I might try just a little bit of bringing the blue down. And if I don't like it, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe. So anyway, it'll give me something to do, right? While well, I'm waiting for the phone to ring rather than staring at the phone, waiting for it to ring because that's not accomplishing anything. All right, I'll be back. good with this now. It was intended to be an abstracted moody seaside sunset painting and I think that's it. I kept trying to add some of the warmer colors up. I didn't like it. I added darker colors down like that better. I really like the way it looks. I'm going to leave it alone. The inspiration photos are these three here on the top and they're, my painting is not meant to, to meant to duplicate those. Those are strictly inspiration so I'm actually going to take them down and I'm going to rearrange my bulletin board of inspiration photos, move everything up. And we're going to leave this alone and let it dry. I very much doubt I'm going to add anything else to it. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll be back. I go out for a walk 
but I came out to that. What's that? What's going on? So I guess we'll find out. I don't know what that's about. all about. I'm waiting for the GI clinic to call still. I did send a message to the doctor to see if I can get their name and number. I'll just call them. In case y'all didn't know, I have the patience of a gnat. So I'd just rather get it taken care of. Like yesterday. It's a good idea. I'll be back. Now I probably overshare my health journey, but I want to share it with you to let you know when you're struggling with your own journey, you're not alone. We all go through this. We don't get out of this life alive. So it's a bumpy journey between birth and the end. So, you know, we just have to make the best of it. And I'm trying hard to do that and preserve this as long as possible. I've got a 90 year expiration date goal, minimum, minimum. So anyway, all right, I'll be back. Due to the former HOA president, they are fixing a few uh, spots in the road on our street. Our street is a private street. I know background noise, I'm sorry. Um, and they're fixing what they can. They can't do all of it because of the weather, but they're gonna do what they can now and the rest later. So, all right, cool. She's over there eating breakfast. She's been over there a few times this morning looking for food, so yeah. I'm gonna scare her off in a minute though because I've gotta start the car. <laughs> I need to go get some stuff to prep for tomorrow's appointment. I'm gonna... Anyway, fun times. <sighs> yes, I'm a nervous wreck. So um, Bob Bob's gonna go with me in the morning. I finally got an appointment. It took like 48 hours to like get a GI appointment, but yeah, I got one. Um, anyway, we're going to go get my supplies that I'm going to need. And then I need to take all my pajama pants in because holy cow. Um, I noticed this morning when I got up out of bed and went to go grab coffee, I didn't go too far. My pants started falling down. Like, <laughs> so I got to take all my pajama pants in. I'm not going to buy new ones. I'm just going to take them in, but they're all way too big for me. So that's the thing. I've got two more BMI points to go down, down before I am normal average BMI. So that's a big improvement from where I was, which was 32, I think, and I'm currently 27.6, maybe, something like that. So 27.4, I don't know, something like that, just over 27. So I got at least two more points, like two point whatever. So anyway, all right. I feel bad to disturb her, but I'm gonna go get done when I need to and I'll be It's back. Wednesday, January 12th, in case I forgot to say. And it's just after 10 o'clock, I think in the morning. I'll be back. So, I took in all my pajama pants because they were all falling off. I guess that's a good thing. I just bought this shirt not long ago. Does anybody notice how big it's already looking on me? Holy cow. Um, and the pants I have on are huge too. Everything's too big. Anyway, all of the tests I had done were all negative and normal. I just got the last one a few minutes ago. They are forwarding the referral to the proper doctor's office for tomorrow morning's visit. And I don't anticipate anything going sideways. Yeah, of course you never know, right? Um, but, right? So anyway, that's all of that I got. Um, some, I got the sewing done today. I tried to do some other sewing and I just wasn't concentrating. So I put it down, Like you gotta know when to stop. I think I'm going to sit and do some drawing. I'm going to do today's doodles about laundry working and, um, get the drawing done so that I can, that's the washing machine so that I can focus later on other stuff and maybe start on another cross stitch. Although I'm not exactly in the right frame of mind for that. So we'll see. Um, We'll see, but I'll probably do some drawing and or pick some images from my camera's photo roll to do some other drawing in my other journal. Um, and yeah, I guess take care of the laundry. I'll be we back. We are out getting some steps in this evening, burning off some stress and energy because you know, hashtag hate the doctor. I'm working off stress, but I'm taking care of what I need to. We have a doctor visit tomorrow. Hopefully that'll be the last of it for a while and it'll get taken care of. 
But the only reason I'm telling you any part of my journey is just to encourage you all to be better about taking care of yourselves. Don't ignore stuff when it comes up, no matter how scared you might be. We've all been there. Go to the doctor and get it checked out. If you need a family or friend person like to go with you to hold your hand, get that person to go with you. But yeah, just make it happen and make yourself better. So anyway, we're out working some stress off tonight because I don't think I'm going to get enough, a lot of sleep because I got to go to the doctor tomorrow. Again, not my favorite place to go. Anyway. morning. It's still morning, I think. It's 10.55 a.m. Thursday, January 13th. So we saw the GI doctor today. He says it's nothing serious. He doesn't see anything wrong. If I experience any more symptoms, of course, let him know. Um, he gave me some treatments and we will get that taken care of. He does recommend because of past history that I go ahead and have my colonoscopy, which I'm not really due for until next year, but I have it done now. So I've got that scheduled. They are pushed out a little bit. But unless somebody deems it an emergency situation, um, I don't have to have it pushed up and done sooner. So let's hope they don't call me. <laughs> um, I did have to change my annual physical appointment with my new primary care physician, and that got pushed up all the way until next week. So I'm going to see the doctor who saw me Monday, um, and he's going to be my new primary care physician. So we are going to see him on Tuesday at noon. So it's all good. And now I'm going to take a shower because I haven't done that yet. And then I need to repot a couple plants because I, I killed another succulent. But this one's had a baby. So we'll just transplant the baby. Anyway. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be the back. gastroenterologist doctor's summary. And he says, and I quote, I doubt anything sinister is going on. Um, good news. He does say I need to eat more fiber. And um, he and I both think that uh, I was eating a certain kind of protein bar that maybe that was causing the problem. Um, he doesn't think the hemorrhoid procedure is warranted. And I'm going to avoid eating the foods that are bothering me, a.k.a. that bar. So anyway. So, yeah, it's all good. All right, and I made this cute little gnome. I'm going to post pictures of him later till social media. It's just a little, I've been meaning to like make these for a while. Um, I just found random pattern shapes on the internet and combined a few different ones. Um, but they're very basic shapes. So anyway, isn't he cute? Anyway, I like talking to the camera and it's not on. There's a YouTuber's name is Kara Brandon, I think. Um, she is doing a series of videos and has a hashtag in a Facebook group sharing tips and ideas and guidance for cleaning your art room. I know there's a lot of videos out there about reorganizing your art room. Unlike a lot of the other ones that I've seen, she's giving guidance on what to do and how to do it and sections to tackle a little bit at a time. And while I think of my art room for the most part as fairly clean and organized, for the most part, I have pockets of things like that, that start out organized and then get to be messy and I just need incentive to clean them out and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm probably going to tackle that at some point. I know it's not as messy as some things and for the most part, my art room is pretty clean, but I enjoy watching how other people organize things. It gives me inspiration. So anyway, check out her channel, go like it and subscribe. And um, search the hashtag here on YouTube because you're going to find a bunch of videos uh, on different people who are doing it, including Yvonne Preston, is her last name White, Preston White, 
uh, and a bunch of other YouTubers. Anyway, p names I, uh, I'm new to and names I'm familiar with. My plan is to go down the list and subscribe to probably all of them. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I hung a paint, the painting up, Moody, Moody Seas, Moody Seas. It's the one we just finished. It's in the guest room where my dad sleeps. I probably made a lot of noise. The husband's on a conference call. Oops. So it is right, there you go, right there. I'm running out of wall space. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go check the mail and stuff like that and I will be back. Hey guys, so it is Friday morning, January 14th, I think 8, 11 a.m. That I know because I'm looking at the car clock. Provided the car clock's right. I mean, you know. Anyway, feeling okay this morning. Uh, eliminating the protein bar I was eating from my diet seems to have solved all the lower GI problems. Knock on fake wood. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, I am headed over to physical therapy this morning and then I've got to pick a few things up for dinner tonight. Uh, Becca and Polyus are coming over, two of the four kids, and um, Lily, of course. And we, I don't, I'm not going to do all the grocery shopping, but I need to pick up a couple of things. Now, will I be able to do that at one store and then come home? God knows. I don't know what to expect. Um, we're hearing lots of stories of shortages at shops and things, so I don't know what to expect, but we'll find out, and that'll give us a clue when we go do the majority of the grocery shopping this weekend, like, because we don't have any idea what we're going to run into, and it might take a couple more extra stores than it has become the norm in COVID to do, so, yeah, anyway, all right, that's it for the minute, I'll be back. is 8 40 a.m january 15th saturday right yeah um yes. <laughs> yeah we've only had one cup of coffee <laughs> we are headed out to a little car club get together thing that happens once a week when the weather is permitting cars it's, and coffee. it's a yeah it's called cars and coffee and um in sherwood um oregon it is foggy out and it is chilly but um it's, all, on. it's only 30 i mean well the car says 37. Wow. Uh, you know it's, burning. it's, 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 it's like so warm so hot <laughs> anyway we're gonna go over and hang out with becca and paulius um and see what's up have a cup of coffee maybe a donut and then go grocery shopping so nothing too exciting i didn't film a lot yesterday um just because and i did make some gnomes and things yesterday um, I started out using someone else's pattern at patterns and um, looking at inspiration images and quickly developing a look of what how I wanted my gnomes to look, which required me making my own pattern and my own way of sewing them together. I didn't watch any other video tutorials, so I'm sure there's a million ways to do this, but this is how I did it. And um, I'll put some pictures here. I will be sharing the pattern and a video instructional tutorial, but it's going to be on the Patreon only YouTube channel and the pattern will be over on Patreon for them. So if you want to see that and you want to see that you want the pattern, go join Patreon. It's not too expensive and I do share like th things like this often and you have your own private YouTube channel. So there's that. All right, we're going to go see some cool cars hopefully and have some coffee and I'll be back. Cars and Coffee at Langer's in Sherwood. I think it's almost every Saturday morning, weather permitting. And you have lots of cool new cars, cool old cars, people who just love cars. Yeah, so it's a fun way to spend the morning, have a cup of coffee with friends. And yeah, anyway, so we're gonna walk around and do that for a bit, have some 
more of this <laughs> and um then i guess go grocery shopping i don't know how that's gonna go i'll be back uh we had to go to two shops today to get everything we needed but only two so you know that's not bad um we're, we're gonna have to make a substitution we did we had to make at least one substitution which is fine um i guess i mean given covid and everything i guess you know it's to be expected right now right anyway after that we came home we had some lunch and honestly we just been couch potatoes for a couple hours <laughs> Do it. Yeah, we did our daily word brain puzzles and all of that, but we haven't done much else. So we're going to go for a little bit of a walk um, down by some old rural properties that are down the street from us. I'll take some video where I can because it's real pretty over there. And um, yeah, just having a nice relaxing day, which is a nice change. These are the kind of properties I'm talking about that are over here. Look at this one. That's, that's the garage. The house is behind the trees over there. Like that's just the garage space. All the lots are really big. Some of the houses have been fixed up already. Some haven't. Anyway, I don't see any animals or wildlife, just a random pumpkin. Interesting. Hey guys, it is just after 10 p.m. on Saturday, the 15th. Tomorrow is my dad's birthday. Everybody wish him happy birthday. Y'all are going to ask me how old is that? Um, 83, I think. Maybe. Oh, he's an old guy. He's a cute, sweet little old guy. Anyway, it's been a roller coaster of a ride lately. <laughs> As you all know, if you're watching this. Come on, stay. Okay. Vacation falling. Um, but it's all good. We're going to just take it as it comes, as it may. One day at a time. And... You know, the universe is constantly trying to teach us lessons about what we should be doing and not doing. And this is just another lesson for me. I need to be more mindful and take care of better care of myself and be mindful of what I'm eating. Um, that's the lesson here. And make sure I get my preventative tests and procedures when I need to and all of that stuff. So, you know, I don't like it. It's not fun. But who does? Like, seriously. Anyway, I'm putting bits and pieces away because I was downstairs making more gnomes. And I filled a couple of bins from the supply closet up. Storage supply closet. I know, don't ask. <laughs> um, up with some stuff so that I could do that downstairs. I have extra gnome beard. And I need to film a video for the patrons and supporters, so I'm going to need this. Um, they're going to get a copy of the pattern <clears throat> and how to video. I don't know if I said that yet, the, yet on this clip. I won't know until I edit. Um, but I know I posted it to social media earlier today. So, that's well. uh, anyway, and I did tell the patrons that supported that. So I got to get that done. The beginning of next week is going to be very busy for me because I got physical therapy I have finally have a new primary care physician, so I've got a visit with him, same doctor who helped me out the other day. Um, so it's just a lot of a lot of stuff, but we will get it done, and then the back end of the week is all clear for me. So yay, woo! -hoo! Um, and the change in diet seems to have helped everything down there, um, so we're all good. Um, all right, and I think that's it. I hope you've all had a good week. I bring you on these nervous, crazy journeys with me just so you can know that when you have bumps in your road, you are not alone. We all have them. It happens to everybody. And I'm squinting at the needles without my glasses on, and they're not like they're far away. Oh, yeah, okay. You're not alone when you have your bumps in the road. Everybody has them. So all we can do is do what we need to to take care of ourselves, make sure we have people around us that support us in that journey, and that will help us do the right thing for ourselves and everyone around us. Anyway, so that's it for this week. Next week, I will be filming that video for the patrons and supporters. And uh, there's so many other things to do coming up. <laughs> I think we have another RT Trio video coming up. I need my mood board from Bea. Bea, I need the mood board. Um, I've got to take my dad to the airport next week. That's going to be a very early morning trip. But anyway, that's in the next video. 
Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. You really do. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.